Uh, I'm Marco Negretti from Politecnico di Milano and uh, from uh, campus of Como. Someone asked me about this. Uh, um, Politecnico di Milano uh, is, is organized in, in uh, like many subsidiaries in uh, different towns near uh, Milan, and so Como is one of these towns. is in north of Milan, near Swiss border. So this is about me. About my presentation, the title is Implementation of Standard Web Service for Ghost Data Exploitation. So, first of all, a, a brief introduction about the Ghost mission. Uh, in 2009, European Space Agency launched the Ghost satellite. The mission target was to study gravitational Earth field and compute the global ge geoid. <coughs> In 2011, uh, started GEMMA project. GEMMA is for ghost exploitation for more modeling and applications. The purpose of, of uh, this project was to estimate the discontinuity surface between Earth, crust, uh, and mantle using ghost data. And uh, now the st satellite uh, still works, uh, but it uh, is nearly at the end. Uh, the fuel uh, is finished, so will uh, fall down in uh, two, three weeks, uh, uh, I feel. But uh, we have the data, <laughs> and uh, we have to deliver this uh, data from, from GOS satellite. We have two kinds of, uh, of different data. You have, uh, uh, we have uh, data along the different satellite orbits as, as uh, observed from GOS. And then uh, these data were processed and were organized in global scale grids at a uh, resolution of uh, 0.5 degree. So we have uh, delivery both of uh, this kind of data. And to do that, uh, we have to build service. And this service should provide uh, interpolation data in a new user-defined grid. So uh, the user defines extended and resolution. And then uh, you have, uh, we, ha we have to create a new grid uh, for the user. And uh, other things, you have to do interpolation data matching with user-defined sparse points. So uh, the user uh, have a, a set of points, and then we have to compute the value in, uh, in, uh, in uh, this set point. For this, uh, we use, the, uh, we use uh, the global grids. And then, other thing, uh, we have the computing of local grid using the data along the orbit in a user-defined period. So in this case, uh, the user wants to calculate uh, our grid using the data along the orbit and not the data preprocessed in, uh, in uh, a global grid. Okay, go ahead. Uh, to, do, to do this, uh, we build uh, a service. We build uh, the web service following uh, the Open Geospatial Consortium standard. Um, so this is uh, a uh, classical schema. The client, the user, uh, make uh, a request to the server in standard way, and then the server says to the data and uh, reply to the user with the, uh, with the results. So we built three different uh, services, a web processing service, w WPS, and in this uh, service uh, we, uh, we built, we, we made uh, three, different, three different process process, named uh, Ghost, Gemma, and H-Manipulator. And then we build also a WMS service and a WCS service. So uh, here you can see the, the address of our, uh, of our service and uh, you can access. Now uh, I will tell about uh, the different service that uh, we have uh, implemented. The Go service, Go service uh, use uh, uh, grid, the grid data on a global scale. 
the data are gravitational potential, potential and uh, second radial derivatives. Uh, these data are related uh, to partial periods and to wall observation period. So um, for, uh, we have one grid for each gradiometer recalibration. And, um, and also we have uh, one, one grid data for all the observation period. Uh, we have two kinds of data. Uh, we have full data. This is uh, the gravitational potential observed. And uh, we have that uh, we named anomalous data. In this case, the data are defined with respect to normal potential. potential. So uh, you, have, uh, you consider the contribution of uh, an ellipsoidal Earth and then uh, the anomalous data are the difference between uh, uh, the difference respect to the normal uh, potential. The service uh, make that interpolation on a user-defined re region. So take the global grid and then uh, create a grid for the user. Other process, Gemma. Also, Gemma use uh, the grid data on a global scale. In this case, we, we have um, many kind of, uh, of data, bathymetry, ice sheet, uh, upper sediments, uh, medium sediments, uh, and so on. Uh, these data are defined from uh, the top of to fave to bottom. And uh, for each kind of this datum, uh, one or more layers are uh, distributed. So, for example, for bathymetry, you have a layer that describes uh, the top su su bathymetry surface, uh, a, den a layer density, a layer for second radial derivatives, and uh, a layer that describes the bottom um, bathymetry surface. So, when uh, the user asks for bathymetry, we have to deliver both of these uh, four uh, layers. And then Gemma, Gemma process uh, made a data interpolation on a user-defined region uh, like uh, GOES process and, uh, and uh, also made a data interpolation on a user-defined sparse point. Uh, go ahead, these uh, are uh, our WPS service. We built uh, the service with PyWPS and GRASS. Uh, we used the vsurf IDV grass command to make the grid uh, interpolate to make grid interpolation, and uh, we used the uh, vsurf vspline ca grass command to make sparse point interpolation. The data are delivered in two uh, different format: out format, ashi grid, and uh, grid tiff. But uh, I think um, it's possible to improve uh, this um, output performance. Then, this is the schema of our service. Uh, it's classical schema for these uh, cases. Uh, the user can access to the service, uh, use the browser. In this case, I have to write the correct URL to make the, the request or uh, use the our, our client WPS. So you, we build also a WPS form to help user made uh, easy request. And then uh, some, uh, one, mm, one example, in this case, uh, uh, if you uh, use uh, the browser, uh, the user have to specify in, in, the, um, in the URL address uh, the name of the service, uh, the process identifier, the layer, uh, in this case, bathymetry, the resolution, the bounding box. Uh, so I have to type uh, this uh, string and then uh, the server reply with a XML file. And in this uh, XML file, we, we have a link 
to, to a tar file, and into this tar file we have uh, all the layer that uh, user required. Okay, in this case uh, we ask for bathymetry, and so we have uh, these four layer that describe uh, the four data uh, for bathymetry. And, uh, bottom surface, density, second derivatives, and uh, the top surface. In this case, uh, the format is the ASHIG grid format for the output. Uh, here you can see uh, um, the WPS form that uh, we built. And uh, here it's uh, easier for the user uh, made uh, make a request because they have only to fill the form so indicate the uh, the process the layer uh, the um, bounding box the region and uh, the output format and then uh, submit the request and uh, download uh, the file so it's more easy Uh, we have made uh, also another uh, another process. In this case, uh, uh, this is a spheric harmonic harmonics interpolation service. This method is better for our purpose because the gravity field is uh, an harmonic field, so it's better to interpolate uh, with a uh, spheric harmonic uh, harmonics interpolation. Uh, th this um, process uh, is built using a spherical harmonic manipulator software. This software has been developed by Politecnico di Milano Ghost Research Group. And uh, this, uh, is a, this is a command line uh, software. And uh, we uh, used uh, this software as core for uh, to build uh, our service. So the software is uh, online, you can download it, but uh, uh, you use uh, only your uh, your PC, so you in use this as core to build uh, a process online. Okay, uh, the service asks to the user uh, the coordinates of the region of interest, P and Lambda, and uh, a time range. So uh, the service extracts uh, all, all the data in the, in the user speci specified range. Uh, we use the PostgreSQL database to storage the data be, uh, because we have more than 75 million uh, of data. <coughs> and then the um, service computes second derivatives from uh, a given gravity model with the uh, H manipulator software and then creates a uh, grid using graphs. This command uh, is almost finalized. I hope to come here with the service uh, ready, but <laughs> I have no time. <laughs> I regret for that. Uh, so uh, now go ahead uh, to the other two services that uh, we built. We built also a WMS service and WCS service. At now, we deliver only few date, uh, only few data, <laughs> and um, the core of our project was the WPS service. So the WMS, the WCS uh, was um, was not so developed, was less important. But uh, uh, also, you can use uh, this uh, service uh, to get data uh, at the moment. Online, uh, the, uh, uh, the gravitational potential anomalous, uh, second radial derivatives anomalous, uh, related to the whole period of uh, satellite observation, and uh, the more data. And uh, this uh, is the usual schema for this kind of, uh, of, uh, of service. So the user can access uh, to the data with a browser like uh, we like I said before or uh, with a uh, one client uh, WCS WMS and then uh, with uh, these two tools uh, made uh, make uh, the request to the server uh, an example of a WMS uh, service oh, okay here uh, you can see the, the address 
web address uh, to our service, to our WMS service. And uh, this, is na this is an example do about a request ma uh, made with the browser. So the user have to specify all this data, mm, bounding box, uh, uh, layers and uh, so on, and then the server uh, reply with uh, an image, in this case a PNG image. More mm, easier, if you use a client WMS uh, like QGIS, uh, you can navigate uh, and explore the data in a classical way. Mm, like WMS, we have a, a WCS service. These are the address uh, to access to our service. Uh, and uh, it's uh, very similar to WMS service, but in this case, uh, we, we mm, don't deliver an image as output, but a geofile. Geo uh, now the output formats available are uh, SheGrid and GeoTiff. Oh, it is. This is uh, an example of query uh, to WCS server. So it's very similar to the WMS, uh, but uh, in this case, the reply, the server reply is a uh, grid file. And then, now I this bring me at the end of my presentation. Here you can see some uh, address that explain uh, general way the, this project. Uh, and uh, so, thank you. very interesting to use such kind of data and provide them. Um, one particular technical question. Is there any particular reason why you are using the old WCS specification, which is from, I believe, 2003 or so, um, instead of the current one, which already has been issued 2010? Uh, no. <laughs> This particular address that you have here, which, run, which is like pretty much into WCS2 syntax, which is replacing a few keywords. So that wouldn't like a lot of trust like this. Uh, okay. Mm, but uh, honestly, the W. Okay. Uh, mm, no, th 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 this project is started uh, one year ago. So uh, I worked, but not uh, full time. So I made some, some things uh, 12 months ago. And then uh, I improved something about WPS. And um, the WCS is not uh, um, a core. So I made it, uh, so it's stay uh, this level. <laughs> I have to improve. I have, you guys, you have yes, uh, I have a comment for you. Like, because actually, since you are using Mac server, yes. it's very simplified in the new version. I so happen to know that it's available, so that's a good idea. Yes, <laughs> but... Mm. Okay. Any further questions in the room? No? Okay, thank you again, Marco. Thank you.
Nice. <laughs> 